I'm tired. I feel like I'll never be enough or I'll never be I'll never make the right decision. Hi guys, it's me Yosha and this time I'm gonna do a different video. I've been doing haul videos, challenge videos, fun videos, and even vlogs that sometimes are boring for you guys but still you watch it. Thank you guys. But today I've been really thinking about it and I was just really burdened to share it with you guys thinking maybe someone out there is feeling the same thing or the same feelings that I've felt. If there's any one of you that you felt that your hope been crushed by someone or something that you have no purpose at all that your life is meaningless going through that each time that I feel that the world is on my shoulders like it's really heavy that you already have this um, responsibilities you have at your school or in your work and yet people some people talaga certain people would just put you down um, problem with your crush or your love life or with your friends diba? even those little things it adds up to your to the burden that you're already um, carrying so so there was this night that I was very very down I really felt hopeless I really felt like like my world just crushed even my dreams my goals my hope has been crushed it's really painful I've cried a lot trying to comfort myself. I know verses that gives hope and all those things, but there will be times in your life that parang makakalimutan mo siya. It's like you're gonna have your mental block by a memory block, something like that. You're gonna forget those things or you see those things, but then there's no effect in your heart. I felt that you just have to run back to God. That's why I'm very thankful at those times where whenever I feel like my hope has been crushed that I don't want to wake up next thing in the morning thinking that nothing good will happen that I'm not even worthy to wake up because of my thoughts because of me questioning and doubting him why these things are happening to me maybe you guys are also thinking the same thing maybe you guys have thought the same thing and until now you've been pondering about it why, why did it happen why is, is this happening to me and all those things let me encourage you that night I went through my phone and I swipe this one to so this where you can see the verse of the day from the Bible app and that night the verse was from Psalm 119 verse 114 and it's really really nice you are my refuge and my shield your word is my source of hope I'm like Lord, kakasabi ko lang. Parang my hope has been crushed by people, by things that happened in my life that I felt, Lord, talagang wala nang hope eh. Bakit ang timing mo sobrang sakto, Lord? Grabe naman yung pagmamahal mo. I thought to myself, even though I know, Lord, na sobrang hurt ako because I know I obeyed you, God. Parang yung circumstances ng reality is not really what you were saying. Parang ang labo, Lord eh. But sige, I will still trust you, God. So, parang sinabi dito, you are my refuge and my shield. Parang, he's the one who's gonna hug you, who's gonna comfort you. It's just so nice that he's just there trying to listen to you. That as you just trust him with all the things that's been worrying, that's been making you anxious about, that's making you feel hopeless. Write it down. Write it in a paper like I did. Write it down and lift it up to him. Tell him about it. Cry about it if you want to. Lock your room. Just talk to him. It makes you. It will really make a lot of change in you. It's gonna lighten up your burden. It's gonna make you feel that peace. Ah, to add up pa dun sa sinabi sa akin nung night na nun, sabi niya, Lord, sustain me as you promised that I may live. Do not let my hope be crushed. Sustain me and I will be rescued. Grabe. That night, that was the exact feeling that I was having. A crush na yung hope ko, Lord, don't let me drown in my negative thoughts. Don't let me drown on what other people think. Don't let me drown on what other people think. But let me drown with all these responsibilities, all these worries, all this pressure in your life, 
all about your thinking about your future and all this and stressing out all the decision making word i'm tired i feel like i'll never be enough or i'll never be i'll never make the right decision just want you to i just want to encourage you guys that there's hope there's really hope Sabi Lamentations 3 verses 20 to 27. I will remember them and my soul is downcast within me. I was feeling this that thing. Parang yung soul ko, yung me, my heart, me, myself is really so down. But I'm just really, just really, really down with life. Yet, verse 21, this I call to my heart. And therefore, I have hope. <clears throat> where, that, where does that hope come from? It says here in verse 22. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for Him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in Him, to the one who seeks Him. It's just really nice to be reminded of God's faithfulness in my life. Sabi ko, Isang gabi lang yun, or isang moment lang yun na nagkaganan ako. Pero yung faithfulness ni Lord, grabe, di ba end of the year na ngayon? From January hanggang December. All those months are filled with a lot of breakthroughs. To just enjoy every moment, to witness miracles each day, right before my eye. Alam nyo yung pagising lang, miracle na yun eh. Yung magkaroon ka lang ng teammates. Na hindi ka mag isa miracle na yun for me. Alam mo, sobrang sobrang dami ginawa ng Lord. And kahit na you felt so hopeless, dapat nga magtampo pa siya sa'yo kasi kinalimutan mo siya eh. ba? Parang even me, naisip ko yun na parang, o oh, nga no, I've been reading, I've been doing my quiet time and all those things, yung reading the Bible, pero parang the verse aren't, parang hindi siya nagiging real in my life. Parang pag may pinagdadaanan ka, nawawala siya eh. Pero, he doesn't want you to draw far away from Him. If you feel hopeless, you feel discouraged, you feel like nobody understands you. You are very weary and tired of all the anxieties and worries of life. Decision making, thinking about the responsibilities that was given to you, pleasing other people even, pleasing your parents, your family, your friends, your workmates, your boss, or you're too afraid to fail. Keep your hope in the Lord. It also says in Isaiah 40 verse 31, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So you don't have to worry about your plans. You don't have to worry about tomorrow, what's gonna happen later and all those things. For he says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. So that's it for this video. I hope it encouraged you and that it reminded you or it gave you a reminder that there is hope in your life. I hope that you'll continually be encouraged with the videos I upload. And I hope also that we'll get to know each other. Just comment down below anything you want to share about how you could encourage each other as well. I mean, how could how could I encourage you or how could we help each other with um, emotions or feelings that we're feeling right now. And that's it, I think. Let's just welcome 2018 with a lot of hope, a lot of joy in our hearts. So guys, don't let anyone or anything crush the hope that you have, the passion that you have. Keep on pursuing it. The dream and the goals that you aim for, keep striving because you have hope in Christ Jesus Christ. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year, guys.